Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Capricorns watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person Capricorn is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get into your reading Capricorn, please keep in mind this will be a general reading for the sign of Capricorn, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Okay Capricorn, so let's go ahead and take a look at what messages we do have from your person. We'll also get some overall messages regarding the connection you're in currently. Okay, so we have two cards that came out. We'll go ahead and grab an extra for now. All right, Capricorn, we'll go ahead and pull one more card for now before we do get into your reading. We have our first four cards. Before I do get into them, Capricorn, please keep in mind that if I'm speaking from your person's perspective, describing their energy, their feelings, that could be how you feel. The rules could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. This is also a timeless love reading, so any energy I'm describing throughout it can apply to the past, the present, the future of your connection. And if you're not connected to anyone at this time, Capricorn, this could be someone from your past or someone who's coming towards you. To get into these cards, we have, you're the first person I felt this way about, I can't help but overthink. We also have love me or lose me. I can see myself loving you so hard, it's scary. And we also have, you're sorry that you're caught, you never cared. You're sorry that you're caught, you never cared. Okay, Capricorn, um, so of course we'll know more with the cards next to come, but I do feel like there is some past energy and some present energy or some energy that's coming towards you from a different person. Um, I feel like with you, Capricorn, and this energy always comes out in my Capricorn readings. If something does not serve you, then there's no going back to that because you're on top of yourself, what fuels you, your priorities. So with that past energy that I described, I feel like this person betrays you in some way. They may have lied to you. We have, you're sorry that you're caught, you never cared. Whatever you found this person doing or whatever you found out for yourself, Capricorn, it, it told you, it showed you everything that you needed to know that this person did not have the love that was for you, or maybe they did not have any genuine love. You have love me or lose me. I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. People who want to be in your life need to, they need to act accordingly. And it's not hard to do so when you care about a person, you just have that person in your best interest. And even if that person is going through something themselves that that shouldn't cause a person to mistreat you or lie to you Capricorn even if they want you in in your life that's that's not good intentions that they're putting out so I feel like you Capricorn you may have walked away from someone in the past and that could be the recent past it could be farther back um but I feel like that's something you take on approaching other connections other relationships if you're not going to treat me accordingly to how you feel about me, then you don't want it. But I do feel like there's some new energy when it comes to love here, Capricorn. And I feel like this person is a little bit hesitant because they may not want to mess things up and they, they may, may feel like their emotions for you or their interest in you is so strong, Capricorn, that 
they want to do things the right way they don't want to turn you off by maybe making things awkward or they want to appeal to you capricorn so we have you're the first person i felt this way about i can't help but overthink this is your person's energy capricorn or the person who is coming towards you um they they feel like you're a little bit intimidating just because of who you are how you are and them going towards you them approaching you um so you two might not be in communication yet or things are picking off very very slow and that's just because this person is in their head i can see myself loving you so hard it's scary your person's energy to you capricorn which is my <laughs> which is why excuse me which is why they might be a little bit hesitant to come towards you and express um how they really feel about you they might just um come off as just being very giving showing their their affection through like trying to do things for you um so through their actions but let's go ahead and get some more cards regarding this connection for capricorn this card came out um, very easily me trusting you again that's off the table so that may be referring to that past energy I described but let's go ahead and get some more cards okay and we'll get one more card for now Okay, Capricorn, so I do feel like there's still some past energy coming through. Could be because this was the recent past and... uh, Yeah, it could just be because it was the recent past, Capricorn, or maybe this was a very strong connection that still crosses your mind. Um, we have, I envisioned a life with you. I was so consumed by love that I was getting ahead of myself. My mind wanders because it feels like we're out of touch. Sometimes I just want a hand to hold you, make me feel safe and free. I never want this feeling to leave. And we also have Be My Valentine. So the past energy, Capricorn, it could also be your person's energy as well. Um, and that might contribute to them being just more hesitant about opening up because I feel like this person, once they have their eyes set on somebody, they put their all into it. But because of their past and the hurt that they may have experienced for themselves, they might be a little bit more reluctant to do so because of the what ifs, what if it doesn't work out, what if you're doing this for the wrong person. Um, so it could be their energy as well that's coming through. Um, I feel like this person is a big like lover, huge romantic. We have, I envisioned a life with you. I was so consumed by love that I was getting ahead of myself. I feel like this might resonate for you, Capricorn, referring to that past energy. Um, and just knowing how strong and solid your love is, how you want to provide for your person and you want them to provide to you, but it's, it's all about a team effort and you're not about to be doing that for someone who does not deserve it. We have my mind wanders because it feels like we're out of touch. I do feel like this is also referring to some past energy here, Capricorn. Um, but as far as this new person, if they've already came into your life, Capricorn, with them maybe moving slower and then I feel like they second guess their actions um, towards you. I feel like this might be your energy because you can maybe tell that this person has interest in you, but it's it's consistent, but it might feel a little bit distant. Um, but I do feel like this person, they want to make action towards you once they feel comfortable enough to do so. Once It's more about them hoping that you feel the same way, Capricorn, or could even be a fear of rejection, not wanting to go through that, especially if they've had their eyes or their mind set on you for a while. But I do feel like they want to come towards you. We have, sometimes I just want a hand to hold you, make me feel safe and free. I never want this feeling to leave. I feel like this is them, their energy in a way, not trying to get ahead of themselves because they might also be the type to romanticize like the feelings that they get from a person. This could be a new connection, something that just came into your life, Capricorn. 
um, but they're trying to pace themselves because in the end we have Be My Valentine. February may have been a significant month for you, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Pisces, um, maybe Aquarius, uh, maybe even a Cancer. It does not have to resonate, will not resonate for everyone, but this is their goal. Be my Valentine. They want you in their life. So let's go ahead and get the last few cards regarding this person and the connection for Capricorn. Capricorn so we have our last few cards um, I did go ahead and pull an extra we have heart overhead I want love but I'm used to being alone and how much do I mean to you so we're gonna start with this card Capricorn this this new person that's coming in they're gonna be somewhat quiet about their feelings for you Capricorn I feel like it could be a connection where you two are getting to know each other at a pace, slowly but surely, but I feel like they want the reassurance from you, Capricorn, like the, the initiative with the how much do I mean to you, because you, Capricorn, I feel like you want to build connections with intention, with purpose. So this person might just try to stick around or be in your life um, just because they're happy that they're getting to know you, Capricorn, but it might make you wonder what, what do you, like, where are we going with this? So there, there might be a little bit of an issue with them just being more direct because they're just trying to be as careful as possible. Um, they are a little bit reluctant, a little bit more shy, I want love, but I'm used to being alone. This could also fall into their communication habits Capricorn I feel like this person wants somebody in their life they want their they want a person but love is love is serious so they treat it as so and it, it could scare them but in the end they are leading with their heart we have heart overhead they're trying to approach you Capricorn or they're doing their best to do so but this person they they need reassurance themselves to come closer to you and that could all just build through time. But Capricorn, I will go ahead and leave it at that. That's all I do have for you today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.